There is a lot of change happening, and it's all being led by the crazy technological breakthroughs that we're seeing. The world is changing more and more quickly. Go back four years ago, most people didn't use social networks, wikis, blogs. The world will change even more in the next three or four years. This is where the work actually gets done, the real work, the things that really will change the world. Singularity University is a very unique forum where we bring together leading minds and thinkers to educate, inspire, and really empower them to understand exponential technologies and how to apply those into solving humanity's biggest problems. How many people here feel like they've seen enough about how the world is moving and they want to do something about it? Absolutely. Yeah. What do you think the chief innovation of Singularity University is? The unique idea about Singularity University is the devotion to the idea of the exponential growth of information technology. Computers today are billions of times more powerful per dollar than they were when I was a student. A lot of people are pessimistic about the future, and I would be too if, if I thought the progress in these technologies was linear. 30 steps linearly gets you to 30. 30 steps exponentially gets you to a billion. Seeing things from that exponential perspective, it really gives you a different idea of what problems are solvable. We really encourage our students, our community, our alumni to actually come together and start companies, start social and entrepreneurship programs to actually take technology and solve big problems. This machine makes x-ray images with one-tenth the amount of radiation, but it actually gives us three-dimensional data as well. We are making a software platform to enable all these drones to be controlled by a cloud-based server. We've learned how to make a commercial machine work in zero gravity. We were able to take a benchtop size instrument, shrink it down to this little device here. This technology is going to allow us to actually bring back dinosaurs, bring back extinct species, and make life forms that help us live in space and go to other planets. Thanks for having me. I'm always happy to come back. I don't think our company would even exist without Singularity University. We make DNA and we sell it. Not that complicated. Um, we just make it for a lot less and lets everyone write interesting DNA programs, eventually allow DNA to become a consumer product. The way DNA is made is the same way it's been made for 40 years. You're making one strand of DNA at a time, and a lot of it has errors. So you're making things one at a time, which is expensive, and then you've got to fix the thing. So all we're doing is we're making DNA affordable by making it millions of strands at a time and filtering out errors. So you guys are the only place in the world that is laser printing DNA. Can you walk me through the process of how you do it? We are, and the laser printing is the final step. We actually have to have starting material in order to laser print it. This guy right here is what makes our DNA. So this thing makes a million different strands. And the way we make it is you have four different letters for DNA, A, T, G, and C. You guys want to look? See the bottles? That's the... Hey, is it A, a T, a G, and a C? So, so you mix it all up, you get DNA. <laughs> yeah, you flow in the A, you flow in the T, you flow in the G, you flow in the C. The DNA strand comes out the other side. The problem is these sequences have errors in them. So we have to clean it up. It's just like when you make anything, you have to be able to do quality control. You print the DNA here, yep. and then it gets sorted where? This machine is a microscope and camera that looks at the different sequences. So it's really important to actually look at the DNA, see which is good, which is bad. And there's a million strands of DNA right in that little tiny? There's a million different strands in this little tiny spot here. Put that in context. I mean, what can you do with a million strands of good DNA? You can do a lot with a million strands of good DNA. You could make 100 fully synthetic microbes. These are bacteria that solve problems, that produce drugs, that produce things like oil uh, to replace the petrol that's dug out of the ground. So there's really like nothing that those million strands of DNA if can't it's, do. If it's life, this can make it. Now that we know what's good and what's bad, let's print out the good ones. This machine right here is really the innovative this is the piece of this Cambrian is, This Genovis. is the secret sauce, the DNA laser printer. And this machine will produce more DNA in a single run than is produced in all the machines in the world in an entire year. 
Is this going to democratize this entire industry? It means that anyone in the world is going to be able to be a genetic designer. So what do you think the market is for this technology? Total, if people just press print instead of copying from nature or ordering the synthetic DNA as they usually do, is over a billion dollars. Wow, and that's when it's really just in the hands of scientists. If you make it this cheap, uh, sensibly, more sure, people we, will uh, flood the market. And I really think that synthetic DNA will become a consumer product. That people will write code and, and start two people companies with $50,000 and build great businesses just by having access to low-cost DNA. We're going to see people programming life forms at scale and doing it very quickly. We are absolutely 100% as a species reliant on the development of this technology. Life in the long term is not sustainable unless we can direct its future outcome.